This is uh, Dan from Rambling Ambition, and we have some work ahead of us today. In our last video, we put down the subfloor. Um, please check it out. I'll leave a link in the description um, that kind of goes through the steps that we took to put the floor down. And today is um, Max Air Fan Day. So we have two uh, Max Air Fan Deluxe. Uh, one of them is going to go in the back, one of them is going to go in the front. We have some clamps, some 252 uh, Cicaflex sealant, uh, some Dicor lap sealant. We bought the uh, Sprinter van specific uh, gaskets or frame supports to go on the top of the van uh, to make sure that it's evenly spaced on the ribs. Stainless steel screws, um, a tool to deburr the edges, some fresh uh, metal jigsaw blades and then the two frames that we built that'll go on the inside of the van for the screws to screw down into if this is something you're interested in uh, please stick around for the video if you're a subscriber we really appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet we have a 2019 uh, sprinter van with 170 inch wheelbase that we are turning into uh, an adventure vehicle uh, that we can live out of so please subscribe share it uh, with your friends uh, who also might be some interested in it. Today we're going to go step by step to how we're going to um, prep the van, cut the holes for the fans, install the fans, um, so you guys can see exactly what we're going to do uh, to put them in place. I am by no means an expert, it's just kind of, um, this is the process that I'm going to follow. So there's a lot of information on YouTube, of course, but you know, you take all of that and you put it together, you combine that with any experience you may have. And so we decided on the uh, Max Air Flan Deluxes, the 7500 series that has the remote control. Um, and that just allows us to put it up, put it down, start the fan, change the fan controls, um, all by uh, utilizing the remote. Now, what you might not know about these fans is that the, the computer board, the motherboard for these fans is really sensitive to voltage changes and so what we are going to do is install these voltage regulators on each of the fans at the power point uh, from where it comes off of our battery system. The reason for these voltage uh, the voltage regulators is that from either your battery system or um, if you're charging through the alternator in our case we're going to be using a DC to DC converter uh, to charge from the alternator as we drive you can have voltage spikes of you know, anywhere from, you know, 12.8 to 13.6 uh, volts. And these fans uh, don't like uh, above 12 volts at all. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put this voltage regulator in line uh, for each one of the vans to ensure that the voltage never exceeds uh, 12 volts regardless of where the power is coming from. So it's so just something to think about to protect your fan or protect the investment because for us, once we put them up there, we don't want to have to take them off again. And this little device, $25, is going to protect uh, your $300 investment. So you can check out YouTube and there's plenty of folks that have uh, motherboard issues with these Max Air fans uh, simply because of voltage. And I've heard that the new versions, which I believe we have, have got some voltage protection in the motherboards. But like I said, 25 bucks, it's really simple to wire in and it'll make sure that that fan never gets more than the voltage that it needs um, in order to operate properly. Just something to think about. And if you're interested in the supplies that uh, we got, there'll be a link in the description uh, below. Uh, I have an Amazon affiliate account. It doesn't cost you any extra money. Uh, but if you want to buy some of the things that we've been utilizing in our van, uh, just click those links and uh, it gives you the Amazon price and it just gives us a, a commission and it doesn't cost you anything. All you got to do is just click on it. So like I said, list in the description below of all the supplies. So let's get to this project. All right. So there are three elements. This piece, which is a one by one frame, 14 inches square. We made those and primed them. I will show a video on how to make those right now. All right, so in prep for the uh, Max Air fans, we're going to put together uh, the frames for the inside support. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So you have to have uh, 14 inches of clear opening. So what we did <coughs> was we put together 
some frame pieces. And they are 17 inches and then 14 inches. And then all we did was draw a mark on the center and then we put eight of these together. And basically how they uh, go together is in a frame just like that. And so once we get done, we have a clear 14 inches clear 14 inch open and then this sets to go on the underside of the van so uh, when we get so the max air fan flange has something to screw into so uh, we're just gonna kind of put them together glue them clamp them um, square them up and then uh, we'll paint them just like we did uh, with the, the floor ribs that are in the floor All right, that's basically it. We glued all the pieces together. We have 14 inches from here to here. We have 14 inches from here to here, and the boxes are square. So one for the front, one for the back. Uh, we'll let all this dry, and uh, then we'll paint it up, and then we'll be ready for uh, getting everything set on the top of the van to cut the holes. So as you can see, these go together pretty simply. Um, this goes underneath the van. This, is a gasket that goes on top, a spacer to go on top, and it has a cutout specifically for the rib and the band. You can make get these for three different locations. So this one is for the rearmost section, and I'll show you how that goes. And so this is going underneath, then there's the band skin. This goes on the top, and then the flange for the van goes like that. So you'll have kind of like a separation, kind of like that. We'll do Sika Flex 252 to this, to the top of the van. We'll use Sika Flex to put this down on the, the van skin itself. And then on the bottom of this, we'll use uh, butyl tape to go around here. And then that will sandwich down. Now the final pieces are these strips of aluminum. So because this is a plastic flange and we don't have to have, want to have to worry about this cracking, we just got some 16 inch aluminum from the hardware store. You got one on each side. And then we cut them like so. And so they got a DA finish uh, so it's going to accept some sealing on the bottom and then the lap sealing on the top and we'll drill the holes out, of course. That's going to make sure that we don't crack the frame. So simple, easy stuff. It's all contoured uh, to fit and I think it's going to work out pretty good. You, of course, don't need all of those elements. You don't need um, the, the, the wood piece on the bottom. I'm using it because I think it just makes the top of the van structural uh, since you're cutting a piece out of it. You don't need the gasket on the top. Uh, these fans are designed to go down on the body of the Sprinter van. I'm just using them because I think it makes a good fit for the flange to sit on so you don't have to build it up with butyl tape or sealant or anything else. And then of course, you, you don't need these either. Um, to me, they're just extra added insurance to make sure the installation goes well. So all elements that you can do if you want to, um, I would suggest that you do just based off of what I've been able to do my research on. And like I said, I want to do this one time and I don't want to have to worry about it. So, you know, everybody's got a different style of doing things or way of doing things. But um, this is this. This. 
and of course this it's cheap insurance i mean you're, you're spending a lot of money on your van um you don't want things to leak so you want to give it a the best chance of not leaking um that you can do and i think that those elements the four pieces that we're putting together uh really achieve that for us all right so you'll notice how this sits on the ribs and there's that cutout but also you'll see that there is a chamfer right there and right there and that's what makes these gaskets so important if you watch you can see how it just slides right in the right place and that's what makes it fit uh, just perfectly because otherwise you can see how it rides up that does the same thing but that chamfer makes it sit perfectly in the groove so you know exactly where this needs to be so from here we're gonna draw the outline and then drill a hole and get the jigsaw ready all right so We'll uh, measure several times uh, before we drill, but basically what we'll do is measure the inside, measure the outside, make sure it's right, and then we're gonna drill a couple pilot holes. Those holes will go in the corners, and then we'll cut right on that pink line, and then that way, if we're a little tight, we're able to uh, grind the edges down. We don't wanna be super loose. We measured. Twice, three times, four times. We're getting ready to drill a hole in the top of the van. Once you do it, it's not so bad. So jigsaw time. All right, now I just took an old box and taped it up with a little bit of a support here to catch all the metal shavings so it doesn't get inside the van. All right, we're ready. Let's do it. Got a fresh blade in the jigsaw and it's time to go. can see uh, got nice clean cuts the box worked out perfectly uh, to catch all the shavings and uh, we'll get the uh, flange up here and test it see how it works and we got a good fit well we got a skylight. So we painted the edges, um, painted the edges of the, of the metal after we deburred them. While we let the paint dry, we're gonna start drilling all the holes and the flange and the pieces of aluminum um, so that we can assemble everything together.
All right, not as uh, pretty as I would have liked it to be, but everything worked uh, the way that I wanted it to. So um, we're gonna let all that dry and we're gonna move up to the one in the front and cut another hole in the roof. So the steps for this one are the same as uh, the last one. We're gonna uh, put the piece up uh, that we bought on eBay, um, measure, measure again, measure again, measure again and uh, uh, draw the inside line, drill four holes, cut it out, um, deburr the edges, prime it, paint it, and then drill the holes and all the things and go through the same process again. So let's get to it. <clears throat> so this one also has the contour and this piece for that front rib. So the beauty of these gaskets is they basically find their own center. Highly recommend buying them. All right, uh, the front one's in, so we'll let it dry and we should be able to uh, put the back one in. So we'll see uh, if we can get everything lined up. All right, uh, we got a lot accomplished this weekend. Um, so primarily we got the uh, two Max Air fans installed up in the roof. It's kind of crazy to cut holes in the top of the van. Um, it is crazy, not kind of. <laughs> but uh, the process went pretty pretty easily. And once you get, so once you measure it like a thousand times and you're absolutely sure cutting it isn't bad. Uh, you know, one of the things that I uh, suggest to just I bought a fresh blade for both cuts. That way, no matter what, the blade was as sharp as it possibly could be. So we got a lot of other things done uh, this weekend, just little parts of working things. We're getting ready to start to do the mock-up of the interior. Um, but I think overall, I'm, I'm really happy with how things went. Yeah, new blades and also use more goop than you think you need. More goop. So that the lap sealant, um, the, to go over the top of it, the, uh, I ran out. So um, get extra tubes. It's not that expensive. It's eleven dollars a tube, but it's it's bad to be halfway through the job and run out of uh, stuff. So um, better to be over prepared than not. You can always return it, you know, to either the store, or to Amazon, or whatever. So anyway, I hope you guys got something from the video. Um, if you're a subscriber, thanks for watching all the way to the end. Um, like I said earlier, uh, we do have an Amazon affiliate account. I'll have links below to all the supplies that we used. 
uh, just in case you want to do a similar product. If you click on that link, it doesn't cost you any more, but it does help us out, and uh, we really appreciate it. So if you'll uh, leave us a comment, uh, subscribe, share it with your friends, and uh, this is Emily, Sam, and Dan from Rambling Ambition, um, and we'll see you on the next video. Are you happy with the work we've done? Were you so happy about it? A little bit of progress. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.